Hi, good evening everybody. Alright, welcome to our second wait, wait, wait. episode. Starting is starting. Okay. Start. Hi, good evening everybody. Welcome to our second episode of Car Wars, alright? So uh, today my name is Amos, alright, I'm the host for tonight, alright? So let's just wait for more viewers to actually join us uh, this uh, today's episode of the car wars all right let me just do uh let me check on myself hi everybody hi to those who just join us hope you have uh, a good weekend right so uh hope you guys are still doing well during this period of uh i mean uh, circuit breaker so hang on guys all right this is gonna be over very soon in just a matter of time uh we are left with about two weeks or so till uh this circuit breaker period actually ends so meanwhile for just for those who just join us all right today will be our second episode of the car wars all right uh the first episode uh previous week was actually very very exciting Okay, so for today, we also have very exciting uh, lineup for you, alright? So uh, today will be something even more special uh, as compared to the first episode, alright? So uh, just just give me a second while I will just, uh, just make sure everything is running smoothly. Alright, for those who have just joined us, uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Right, so just let me check. Everything is all right. All right, okay. So for those who have just joined us, uh, please do help and like and share. Today's topic will be more interesting, okay, as compared to the previous uh, previous week, okay. So just hang on for a second while we just uh, just check on, make sure everything is. Uh... Hi, all good. Right, so. Please do like and share for the time being, okay? Today, uh, we, it will be the second episode of the Car Wars, okay? And for those who don't know, my name is Amos and I will be today's host, okay? So, uh, we have been running this Facebook Live for a few weeks already and uh, just for those who have just followed us, we will still be having a weekly uh, Facebook Live session and I assure you that uh, our content will be getting more interesting and interesting okay so uh just to to just to to actually uh wait for more viewers to join us all right uh just a recap last week all right during the first episode all right what we did was uh we did have a comparison between two of our uh, uh most in demand vehicle which is the honda civic all right hashtag model versus the toyota camry hybrid model okay we won't be doing the same uh, vehicle uh, today uh, we will be actually introducing two more uh, exciting vehicle for debate all right so feel free to join us uh, and to like and share uh, uh, our facebook live session so that more of your friends and family members who are intending to purchase a vehicle or to know more about the vehicles that's available uh, currently in the market all right so please like and share all right Hi, hi everybody. All right, so please do. Uh... Okay, so for today, okay, uh, for those who have just joined us, my name is Amos, okay, and uh, I'm the host for tonight, okay. So for today's uh, viewers, we do have uh, uh, a very, very interesting uh, segments. Uh, an interesting uh, what do you call that uh, contents for you to actually learn more about the vehicles okay we have some feedbacks uh, based on previous uh, live Facebook session all right uh, interestingly all right some of our viewers are actually interested to know what is the uh, some of the MPVs and what's the difference the pros and cons so today okay we will be uh, introducing a very very special host okay it, Last week we do have Marcus online with us, alright, and today, okay, today we will be having, alright, none other than Mr. Tao, alright, so Tao, are you here with us? Hey, hi everyone, hi everybody, I'm Tao, uh, I'm a salesman over at Kao, and today I'll be representing Team Freed, and definitely I'll try my best uh, to tell everybody and show Amos that, you know, the Freed is the better MPV amongst the two, 
Uh, we heard from a lot of people that uh, you have a nickname and your nickname is actually uh, the self-proclaimed Freed King. Is that true? Uh, not, not really true. La. This one not, not self-proclaimed. One. This one colleagues give one because <laughs> sad to say majority of the cars I sold are uh, Honda Freed. Okay, so uh, you it means that you actually know the Honda Freed inside out as a, I mean... I don't dare to be too uh, arrogant, don't dare to be too confident, but I think I know quite decently about the Honda Freed. Alright, okay, so today, uh, we the representative for Honda Freed will none other than our Mr. Tao, T-A-L, alright? And today, I will be on the team Noah, alright? So today, for those who have just joined us and are interested to know uh, the pros and cons uh, for both vehicles, alright? Please stay tuned, alright? But meanwhile, maybe uh, let me see for those who just join us, please do like and share, alright? Before we start the uh, proper uh, competition between me and Tao. Okay, so for, for those who are interested uh, to actually uh, know what's going to happen today, uh, today we will be introducing one of uh, two, sorry, not one, <laughs> two of the most in-demand uh, uh, MPV in the market, which is the Honda Freed and the Toyota Noah. Okay, we will be separating, uh, segregating the whole Facebook channel into four parts, alright? First of all, we will have a debate whether the looks of the Honda Freed is actually better than the Toyota NOA or the Toyota NOA is actually better looking than the Fit. Alright, so first of all, we will be comparing on the looks of the vehicle, right? Secondly, we will also touch on the important parts, which is the features and also the practical side of both vehicles. Alright, this will be the second part. Meanwhile, if you do have any burning uh, questions uh, regarding these two vehicles, feel free to drop us a comment at the right hand side at the comment box, alright? So thirdly, alright, we will be uh, talking and touching on the point of the performance of the vehicle, okay? And lastly, it will be the cost, alright? So this is the four components that we will be co comparing between these two uh, in-demand uh, MPV in the market, alright? So stay tuned while we start the exciting competition between these two vehicles, alright? So Tao, are you really nervous because this is your first time actually joining us live uh, right from your, your home, right? How are you feeling right now? Uh, definitely, uh, well, no, definitely, definitely a bit nervous, first time on uh, camera, uh, but definitely I'll try my best. Okay, are you nervous because it's your first time or are you nervous that uh, you think that the Honda Fit will actually lose to the Toyota Noah? Because it's the first time, I, I don't think the Freed will lose. Uh. The Freed is actually a very, very good MPV. Uh. Later, you all know why. Alright, so uh, you are quite confident that uh, you think the Honda Freed will actually be a better preferred choice based on our viewers today. Are, are you Definitely, sure? Definitely, I got faith. I got faith. <laughs> okay, so for, for those who, who just join us, uh, for those who are actually driving a Freed or intending buying uh, a Freed in the near future, please stay tuned and maybe you will know more about the vehicle uh, 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 from our second host, Mr. Tao, today. Alright? So, uh, for those who are actually uh, driving a Noah or intending to buy an MPV such as uh, a Toyota Noah, okay? Alright, please stay with us all right i need your votes all right to actually win the competition to prove to the viewers out there that the toyota noah is actually the better looking uh, the better car all right so please help to like and share all right hi kit yong tan hi everybody all right so for those who have just joined us please do help like and share uh, our video all right so today will be very very interesting for Tao, uh, this is his first time uh, on camera today, alright, uh, even though uh, this is not my first time but I'm also feeling very nervous, not because I feel that the Noah will lose to the Honda Freed, alright. So please help to like and share before we actually start uh, the uh, competition between the Honda Freed and Toyota Noah, alright. So 
uh, for those who just join us today, we will also be having uh, flash deals for this vehicle. All right, so the flash deal with that we have during this hour. All right, let me repeat myself. Right, during this hour, okay, will be for nervous. the Not because... fleet petrol. All right. Uh, the petrol model, the facelift model, we are actually going uh, at 79k, right? You are right, it's only at 79k for the free petrol 2020 model, right? For the hybrid model, we will be right, uh, having a flash deal at only 93,000, right? So if you are intending to purchase a free but not sure whether to purchase a hybrid or a petrol model, okay, this is a time whereby you will uh spend to actually uh know more about these uh these vehicles all right so for those who are interested in a very very uh bigger mpv uh it will be the toyota noah the flash deal for this model uh right now is only at one zero five thousand okay one zero five thousand all right the original price of these vehicles are actually about three thousand are more expensive so if you do decide to purchase a vehicle with us today all right, uh, do let us know because this is the only hour that we are actually allowing such a low pricing. All right, so uh, let me just uh, hi my hi Michelle Chia. Uh, right, one zero five. Yeah, so uh, we have a question from uh, Michelle Chia. Uh, one zero five includes COE. Yes, you are right. All right, the uh, one zero five flash deal uh, for Toyota Noah includes a 20,000 COE inclusive, all right? So this pricing includes the COE, all right? So this is uh, for, for, for Merce, uh, uh, hi Mercy, all right? For, for Michelle, if you do, uh, if you're keen to know more about this promotional uh, flash deal or to actually reserve uh, such a very low pricing, uh, do drop us a PM. Uh, our sales consultants will actually let you know uh, how to go about it to actually uh, to, to, to reserve uh, this price, all right? 105, it's not a typo error, guys. It's actually 105, all right? So for those who uh, just join us, hi, hi, everybody. Okay, so uh, for those who are looking to purchase a Honda Free, all right? The price is 79K for the petrol model, 93K only for the hybrid model. So seems like I got a Noah supporter uh, with us right now, Tao. <laughs> <laughs> For those who actually are, are looking uh, in support of the Honda Free, maybe you could just uh, just give a, a hi and a comment, right, to, to make Tao less nervous. Hi Mercy, good evening to you, All right? So please do like and share. Uh, before we actually start the, uh, uh, the the first segment, which will be the uh, performance, uh, not performance, no, the looks first, all right? So the looks will be the first segment of today's live Facebook session. All right, so stay tuned, uh, whereby we will be sharing more details. Hi, uh, W. Cheng Lo. Uh, I think you have a question there. It must be Gerdit CEO with a purple. Thanks. Sorry, I uh, so Mr. Low, I I didn't quite catch your question. Maybe you would like to. Okay, these price are based on a twenty thousand CEO inclusive. If you are looking for a guaranteed pricing without top up, we do have uh, a price to it as well. It is uh, as said, we will be actually putting it to. That's why I never. I apologize if it's not clear. All right, so sorry, Mr. Low. All right, these price are based on a twenty thousand COE. All right, if you are looking for a guaranteed without top up package, we do have it at uh one one five. Okay, one one five for Toyota Noah is actually a guaranteed without uh top up package. All right, so for this pricing, this flash deal is based on twenty thousand. All right, we do have a one to one COE rebate. Uh, based on this pricing. So it means that if the COE do drop uh, any amount, for example, uh, 18,000, it will be a 2K uh, cash rebate back to you. I hope that answered your question, Mr. Lo. All right, so uh, without further ado, uh, 
we shall start with today's competition, all right? So first of all, for those who don't know, my name is Amos, I'm the host for today. And today I'll be representing the uh, Toyota Nova Hybrid, all right? So first of all, let's move on to the introduction. For those who don't know, uh, Toyota Nova is one of the best-selling MPV for the uh, last few years, all right? It actually launched during 2014, all right? Of course, changes, uh, we do have minor changes along the years. And for those who uh, haven't really seen of our first, uh, I mean, uh, introduced to Toyota Nova, all right, you can actually uh, realize that the Toyota is one of the better looking uh, MPV in the market, all right? How do you, uh, why do I say so, all right? The Toyota Nova, if you realize, uh, it has uh, uh, a very, very sporty looking front, all right? It is the front grille is actually, uh, comes with a badge, the end badge, all right? It is the same color plated front grille as the body, uh, same color as the body of the car, all right? So uh, what I feel that uh, the Toyota Nova has, is actually one of the better and fiercer and sportier looking MPV currently in the market, all right? If you guys feel that there is a better looking MPV currently in the market at this price range, do just drop us at the comment right at the right hand side, all right? So for me, uh, I do feel that the Toyota Nova is, um, uh, is very, very good looking, especially with the aluminum uh, rims, which is very, very light. All right, so this Toyota Nova comes with uh, 15 inch aluminum rims, all right, and it actually co uh, complements the overall look of the vehicle. All right, so uh, I'm not so sure if the viewers today out there with me uh, do feel the same way as me, all right. So uh, let's hear what we have from Tao, all right, regarding the looks of the Honda Fit. All right, Tao? Okay, I think so far, I, I don't think the Noah looks pretty decent, la, but I think straight away, decent you, see only. Flash deal, <laughs> you see the flash deal price, the free already, quite a, quite a big win, but let's not, let's not talk about the price first. Moving on to the free, actually the 2020 free, there has some exterior changes made to it compared to the 2019 version. So the main difference that you all will see is actually in the uh, front wheel area. La. So the longer chrome is actually the same paint color as the car itself. And I think recently, uh, Honda Design Language has made their cars look a bit more unique, uh, more younger. La. So younger families who are looking for a practical yet uh, reliable MPV, I think Honda Fit is definitely a good choice. You know, it doesn't look too, it doesn't look very uncle-ish. It's pretty, pretty good la, and unique. Uh, and I feel like uh, people my age who actually like the car. La. And the, the side view, the back view, the front view, I think not bad, I think better looking than the Noai. Are you sure it's better looking? <laughs> okay, so 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 you feel that the Fit is actually better looking than the, the Noah? For hmm. sure, for sure. Come on, uh, okay, for those who just joined us, we'll be having a voting poll, okay, for every segment, alright? For those who feel that the Noah is actually better looking, do let us know. And for those who want to support Tao today on his preference on the Honda Fit, do, uh, uh, do select and uh, do select the Honda Fit during the uh, poll on the local. Right. So, uh, just for information, all right. Uh, we, I think we do have different perspective of uh, how good looking a vehicle actually is. All right. For me, I'm actually someone who uh, uh, likes MPV with a fiercer looking uh, look rather than a, a cute look for the Honda Fit. All right. For those who don't know, okay, the Toyota Nova comes with LED headlights and LED uh, day running lights, all right? This is something that actually makes a very huge difference in terms of the looks, okay? So the light of the vehicle for Toyota Noah is actually LED. So this is what I feel one of the better uh, look uh, in terms of, uh, in comparison to Honda Free. Okay, I think for the, for the LED point, your Noah has a win there. But then let's talk about the colors. Like, if I'm not wrong, I think the free we have nine colors. What about your Noah? Uh, my my the colors available. We do have five colors. We do have a white color. As I think you can see on the images shown. Right, it's one of my favorite color. Right, we also have black 
and also silver all right for those who actually uh, wants a, a different look so although we do not have uh, more colors as compared to free all right uh, i believe that uh, i mean black and white is always my color huh? <laughs> so Bro, what are color the colors what black, are the white, silver gray is is monotonous eh? so what are the colors the available free. for the honda free the free we got very bright colors we have uh, red orange um, green seagrass blue uh, black we have a lot lot of colors uh. we have nine colors so people who are looking to buy fit no worries you all definitely have a lot of choice and when you guys want to customize your car it's also uh it's also one of the choices that we can make uh, rather than just white black silver gray uh. Hey, this is, uh, I mean, I'm someone who actually goes for uh, black. It's not, if it's not black, then it will be white, all right? These are the sporty looking color. So for those who are with me, who looks, uh, who likes a sporty looking vehicle, a sporty looking MPV, all right? Please vote for Team Noah. And for those who actually prefer cuter colors, such as uh, orange or red, or even the seagrass blue, I think it's a new color. All right, please do vote for uh, Tao, which is the uh, Honda Fit, alright? So, uh, other than this, I think uh, in general, uh, for those for those who are looking for MPV, these are the two choices uh, available uh, for those who are looking for a very spacious MPV, alright? So, uh, let me just look at the comment. Uh, okay, we do have uh, Mr. Low stating that the Noah is better than Santa. Definitely, right? <laughs> <laughs> I agree, I agree. All right, so Mr. Low, uh, I mean, since you are here with us today, maybe uh, just drop us a comment. Uh, are you supporting the Team Noah today or are you supporting the Team uh, Free? All right? Because for uh, Santa, uh, we are not actually doing a comparison with Santa today. All right, but for those who actually seen or sat in a Santa before, all right, you will realize that the Santa is uh, not very spacious. All right, <laughs> so yeah, today yeah, we are comparing. Sorry. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Santa yeah, man. So not so, very spacious. So for for today, uh, all right. So uh, for for those who are looking for a spacious uh, MPV, all right. Uh, I mean. Uh, we feel that the Toyota Noah and the Honda Freed is one of the uh, better uh, selection of the MPV currently in today's market. Alright, so... Uh... Okay, so for those who have just joined us, uh, just, just give you a very brief explanation what we are going to do today. But before that, please do help to like and share uh, this uh, our Facebook live session, all right? So today's topic will be none other than the comparison between the Noah and the Honda Freak. Okay, so we have just touched on the exterior uh, looks of the vehicle. Okay, uh, so we have actually come to a conclusion, all right, that uh, uh, the Noah is actually a more sportier looking MPV, all right. But for Honda Freak, okay, it is actually. Uh, uh, a bit more cuter and have a little bit more cuter colors oh, available. It's unique, uh, unique and young looking. Yeah, unique and young. Okay, so before that, all right, right now, uh, uh, we will just show uh, a video. All right, so stay with us and uh, to just take a look at the video that we have for you guys. All right. Right, as you can see on the video, all right, uh, not only that the lights, uh, the LED lights at the front, all right, uh, the Toyota Noah also have an LED light at the back, right? This is something I have missed out uh, uh, previously, all right? So with also the, the day running light, which I mentioned before, uh, from the front or at night, okay? I think uh, the lights is actually very prominent at night, all right? It is actually a beautiful, beautiful sight, not only from the front and the back. Okay, so uh, if you just re uh, if you realize that the uh, the outlook of the vehicle is very very sporty, as I mentioned before. Okay, so uh, stay with us uh, when you go into the vehicle. Okay, uh, you realize there's a lot of functions in the uh, Toyota Nova itself. All right, it has a keyless start, keyless entry. These are the things that I will be touching later on. All right, and also. Uh, you realize that the uh, the space is very very uh, roomy. Not only at the uh, the driver's seat, 
and as well as for the uh, passenger seat. What, what don't you think so, Tao? Mm, yeah, definitely the Noah has a lot of uh, interior space, but I don't think the fridge is losing by too much as well. I think definitely can fight. Really? <laughs> alright, so so uh, this is the video for the uh, Toyota Noah, alright, I think uh, upcoming we do have a video on the uh, Honda Freed as well. Alright, so as you can see what I mentioned uh, earlier on uh, is that the Toyota Noah is actually very, very, very spacious inside, which I will actually touch on, right, at, at the next segment of our Facebook Live session. Okay, so for features wise, uh, right now we'll be taking a look at the Freed. Uh, video. So uh, for those who are interested to have a look at what the Honda Fit actually looks like or feels like, uh, the features as well as the buttons uh, or the components in the Fit as well. So as you can see, I feel that the Noah, uh, not I feel, the Noah is indeed uh, uh, a bit more uh, uh, spacious from the video that we can see online uh, currently. Right, Tao? Uh, no choice, I think this one I have to agree. But definitely in the free, there are simple space and it's a very practical uh, MPD for young families as well. So I think space wise, you are winning, but not by a lot. Lah. Yeah, so uh, I mean, uh, win is a win. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for those who, who, who have, uh, have not seen the free before, uh, do take a look at the video we are showing right Okay, so as you can see that uh, we have shown two videos, uh, uh, one is on the Toyota Noah, the second one is actually on the Honda Freed. Okay, so for those who are, are still with us, right, the next point that we will be touching on will be on the feature and the practicality of the vehicle. We have previously touched on the, uh, the looks of the vehicle, right, uh, we do have different stands on how, uh, which one is actually a better looking. So now, right, in this second segment, what we'll be talking, touching on will be on the features and also, of course, the practical side of the vehicle. Right, so Tao, do you want to start first or do you want me to start? <laughs> mm, I think i let you go first, i let you go first. Sure, okay. So, all right, so from the video, as you guys can see, uh, this, this uh, for those who don't know, uh, it's a seven-seater MPV, okay, for Toyota Noah. Uh, the headroom and the legroom is very, very spacious, and in comparison to the Honda Freed, okay, it is uh, definitely space, more spacious, okay. Uh, space is one of the uh, components that I feel uh, has an advantage over the Honda Freed. Okay, other than that, uh, if you realize uh, the doors uh, is automatic sliding doors, okay, it's automated, okay, and you realize that the uh, the entrance of the vehicle is actually very, very huge, okay. So for those who have kids uh, at a very young age or have old, uh, I mean older uh, people in the family, grandparents, right, uh, this vehicle actually allows a very easy accessibility into the vehicle. Alright, you do not have to squeeze, uh, you do not have to actually jump up to the vehicle. Alright, it's a very, very, uh, very, very easy access for, for old people and also for young kids. Okay, and if you take, a, if you guys have just uh, with me previously, you realize that the seats are actually adjustable. Okay, uh, meaning the second row, the middle seat is actually pilot seats. Okay, you are able to adjust the seats uh, frontwards, backwards and even sidewards. You are right, it can adjust backwards, sidewards, and even, uh, and then, uh, back side, back side and uh, sidewards, all right? <laughs> back, front and side, okay? It, it can go anywhere. Say, it <laughs> okay, so uh, this actually allows, uh, for, for those who actually are driving a seven-seater, uh, most of the seven-seater has actually very bad accessibility, uh, not only into the vehicle, but also towards the rear seats, uh, the one at the back. So for this one, uh, for the Toyota Noah, is, uh, it has great uh, accessibility. What about the Honda Freed? Hmm. Mm, I think Honda Freed not too, it's not lacking also, because uh, for a petrol car, it's actually in a 222 configuration. So that means the middle row hmm. is actually pilot seats. 
okay. same thing and just frontwards, backwards, but not sidewards lah. But I don't hey. think that's immediately <laughs> also because uh, there are armrests that can be uh, very comfortable throughout uh, long journeys maybe to Malaysia, and also it creates uh, another entry point into the car from the rear row. Otherwise, you can also move the car, move the seats forward so that you can enter for, to the rear row uh, by the side. Yeah. So actually, space wise. I would just say slightly lacking, not as much as the Noa, but definitely comfortable even for six adults in the MPV. And even when you need space, you can actually flip up the rear seats to make space for your groceries, for your shopping, for your items. So definitely a very very practical car. Okay, so so for you still feel that uh, although uh, the Noa is a bit more spacious, but uh, Fit is actually spacious enough for for people to actually have a comfortable ride. Is that so? Definitely, definitely, definitely. I think for space-wise, comfortability-wise, I think free is actually quite close, lah. Quite close to Noah. Really. <laughs> okay, so okay, one thing that I like about Toyota Noah, all right, okay, is that uh, we, f- I feel that the Toyota Noah, uh, because I do drive very long distance, okay. So uh, for those who actually do drive long distance, uh. Uh, interest uh, for those who actually draw, uh, drive long distance all right, to Cape Town uh, it is one of the most comfortable drive I actually driven up to Cape Town okay so for, for Toyota for, for those who don't know uh, Toyota Noah all right, is much more spacious than the Honda Freed it has pilot seats okay the seats are adjustable bro, in a, in a bro, way feels so pilot seats like, how much more spacious is it actually <laughs> Uh, how much more spacious uh? Okay, the interesting part about the Toyota Noah right is that uh, if you actually bring up the rear seats at the back right, okay, you can move the uh, middle seats all the way to the back right. This actually feels like uh, uh, you know those what you see in the movie, the limousine kind of uh, vehicle right. So this uh, is available in the Toyota Noah. Can your fit? Do that. I'm sure my feet can do the same. You can also can flip Are out you the rear sure? seats to move the middle <laughs> row back. Maybe leg space not as much, but definitely also enough for them to stretch their legs out. So, so I think this hmm. point, I think feet also can do it. Leh. Okay, but uh, are you sure the feet can do it? <laughs> Can uh, to a certain extent can to a certain uh. extent uh. <laughs> okay okay and this uh, is not much of a difference all right for for those who uh for those who don't know all right Toyota Noah all right uh, at the back of the seat at the, I mean at the rear seats right you can bring up uh the seats all the way up all right then this will allow you to have ample ample uh what you call that luggage space all right uh is that the same for Honda Free is that the same yeah. On the feet, the rear seats can sweep up. Definitely enough space for luggages, uh, shopping, store items like plants. Also, can so the Chinese New Year when buy plant, definitely enough space. Or you're traveling to Malaysia, also definitely enough space. So, I think talking about practicality, free won't lose. I got something interesting. Much. Okay, I got definitely. something interesting. I think those who actually okay, drive a okay. Noah, they don't know that you are able to uh, adjust the middle seat and make it into a bed, right? So for those who okay, don't know, okay. for Noah, all right, okay, this is very something very, very, very important during this circuit breaker period, okay? For those who are bought at home, okay, you realize that <laughs> if you go in, if you purchase a Toyota Noah and you enter the vehicle, the middle seats, you can put it all the way flat, all right? But before you make the uh, middle seats flat, do take out, uh, do try to take out the, the headrest. Okay, if you take out the headrest, you realize that the whole, whole back seat along with the back, uh, the last row, okay, it is actually a very comfortable flat bed. Okay, for so for those for those who who actually bought staying at home during this period, all right, if you are uh, owning a Toyota Noah, this can be your second home. All right, <laughs> and can if you will find if you will find, you look for Amos like he paid for you. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that you can actually uh, transform the whole uh, Toyota Nova into a bed. All right. So, uh, does the fit have this function? Mm, the fit, the fit don't have uh, sadly. <laughs> oh, the fit. Uh, this, so this is something that Toyota Nova is actually better, right? So for those, uh, especially those, I emphasize on the point on the, uh, what you call that, the uh, road trip. All right. It is a very comfortable. Uh, uh, seating arrangement that can be done and adjusted based on your requirements. Alright, so 
Uh, for those who have just joined us, uh, just let me look through at the comments. All right, we do have some comments to compare with Stepwagon. I will go for Spada Eight Seater. All right, all right, all right. So we do have a comments on uh, some other different MPVs. All right, all right. So uh, I mean, we do have our own different views and uh, uh, and comments about this vehicle. I believe some of them are better in certain ways. All right, some are better in uh, in their own way. All right. But today's competition is between the Toyota Noah and the Honda Freed. Okay, this is uh, 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 these two options actually. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, what we what we actually compare because of the comments from our previous live Facebook session. So if you wish to ask to compare uh, the the Spada eight seater or even the Honda Stepwagon, do let us know. All right, uh, we will try our best to compare uh, other vehicles in our next few Facebook live session. Right, so if you want to see something interesting like the Supra versus the Z4, you also can let us know. Uh, we'll try our best to make it happen. Uh. Okay. Uh, can oh, MPG, Supra! Can okay. <laughs> Just let us know. Let us know. Yeah, so uh, last week's topic for those who didn't join us, it was a competition, a uh, 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 debate between the latest Honda Civic uh, hashtag model and the latest Toyota Camry hybrid sports model. Alright, and today's topic will be these two MPV. Alright, do let us know at our comment box what would you like to uh, for us to, to do uh, for the next few live Facebook session. Alright, so back to the question about the seating arrangement. Alright, uh, I mean, uh, uh, let me see. Alright, so this uh, for those uh, space wise. Features wise, uh, let's talk about features, right? The Toyota Noah actually comes with Toyota Sensing, alright? This Toyota Sensing is a safety feature, alright? Uh, for those who don't know, uh, it's an inbuilt safety feature for the Toyota Noah. Uh, this Toyota Sensing actually have uh, a lot of function, uh, different functions, alright? But the main function of it will be uh, the pre collision crash and the lane departure assist, alright? Uh, does the Fit have such functions? Yep, yeah bro, uh, sure? for, the, really? for the free 2020, it all comes with Honda Sensing Extended. So, talking about Toyota Sense and Honda Sensing, I would feel that they are actually both quite uh, similar. So definitely, this is not a lose, this is I think it's a draw. Sorry, uh, is it a draw? <laughs> what, what do you mean is a draw? Because uh, I think on the, the the Honda Sensing and the Toyota Safety Sense, they are actually pretty similar. So they have something like a road departure mm. uh, mitigation system where they actually make a sound an alarm when you leave the lane without signaling, right? Oh gosh, I didn't I didn't know Honda Fit also have the the Honda Sensing. <laughs> Definitely, but, you know the new Honda cars. It all comes with. But based on my eh, use previously, it also has Honda Sensing, is it, or or only currently? Uh, previously, I think the higher spec models they come with uh, Honda Sensing as then uh comes with Honda Sensing, mm -hmm. but not the base model. But as of twenty twenty, uh, most of the uh. Most, I think for the free, all models comes with Honda Sensing already. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh man, I thought, I thought, I thought, I, I, I thought I had an upper hand on you. So right now, right now the uh, the okay seems like I have to think of something which is better. Uh, for those who are unaware of what the Sensing feature is about, right? Just take a look at the video that we have on currently. All right, shows you some of the safety features uh, that is available in the vehicle. Uh, when you drive the vehicle uh, for Toyota, Noah or for the Honda uh, Free, okay? So, hmm, seems like both the vehicles have uh, the sensing feature. It's cool, cool, I didn't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so a uh, feature that I have to bring up for, for the Toyota Noah is that uh, the Toyota Noah has the automated sliding door. Okay, this sliding door is actually automated. So imagine you carrying uh, groceries from the market. All right, uh, you realize that the uh, sliding door is actually very useful. So this is one of the feature for Toyota Nova, which I think uh, is very, very useful. So, 
So for for Tao, uh, does the Honda Fit has this uh, this function? Um, for the petrol model, it actually does not have the auto power sliding door. But then again, I also see power sliding door as a con because um, sometimes uh, when it comes to mechanical failure or when there's some issue with the door, the repair fee for each door can actually be about two thousand dollars. So if both doors have issues and you need to fix it, that's about four thousand dollars. And on top of that, sometimes you have kids, you have elderly using the door. So if let's say it does malfunction and their hands are trapped, so it becomes like the in a way compromises their safety like, even though it brings convenience. So sometimes I see not having sliding uh, auto sliding doors as well a good thing because the Honda Free actually comes with suction doors. So you actually don't need too much strength to actually close the door, it needs to push or pull and with adequate strength and you will automatically suck the door close at the end now. you hear the suction. Oh so there's a uh, suction for Honda Free. Right, right. Oh, cool, okay, but uh, I mean, uh, definitely I feel that automated sliding door will be better than the uh, normal, uh, you know, manually, uh, you have to do it manually by closing the door. Although, although it has the suction feature, alright, but I still feel that the uh, sliding door is much better, alright. So I think this point, I think we will, be, I think uh, Toyota Noah has upper hand. I think so, I think so, maybe, maybe, but uh, I still feel that even when it comes to sliding door, it's actually a very subjective uh, opinion la, because some people actually do think about the repair costs and also the uh, safety issues that comes with the door sometimes. Okay, so yeah, for those who don't know, I mean, it uh, depends on how you look at it. Okay. So safety is actually one of a uh, very important uh, uh, part that we actually be talking uh, the next point, all right. Uh, I mean, for automated door, uh, it des definitely brings uh, definitely brings a more uh, convenient way for even for the passengers, for those who have kids, and for those who have young older people. All right. So the next point that we will be talking about, okay, will be the safety feature, uh, which we have mentioned already. The sensing, all right. Uh, mm -hmm. For Toyota Nova, uh, it has uh, seven airbags. Alright, so this is something that I have to emphasize on again that this uh, sensing uh, Toyota Nova has 8, 7 airbags. And then for the fit wise, actually for the petrol model, we only have 2. But actually, if you are looking at the hybrid version for the fit, we have 8 airbags. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, yeah. so it's 2 or 8 airbags? Petrol has 2. Heavy as it. All right, so <laughs> hmm, seems like the hybrid is a safer car. <laughs> so uh, those seven, I think seven, I think seven airbags is more than enough, lah. We don't actually have to go up to eight airbags, all right? Hopefully, I mean, we don't even wish to to use the airbags at all, right? So for those who are more concerned about airbags, uh, feel that uh, for safety wise, Toyota Nova, uh, especially with family, uh, what you call that, uh, members. Uh, for MPVs, right, it is a very important uh, touch point. Right, so for those, I think there's a technical error uh, on Tao's side, either he's afraid that he's going to lose this debate on uh, his side, uh, he's actually, I don't know, either his internet is cutting off or he's just act that the video is lagged. Okay, so for those who have just joined us, uh, we are touching on the Toyota Nova uh, safety feature, alright, it has 8 seven airbags as you can see on the picture above okay so for honda free okay uh, i think i have to stand to uh, i mean uh, let me just explain a bit more for honda free all right honda free has uh, two or eight airbags all right two for actually for the petrol variant all right and eight airbags for the uh, hybrid variant all right so uh, i mean this is for your knowledge, but I feel that seven airbags is more than enough. Hi Ryan, hi hi Rainer. Right, so for those who just join us, uh, do take note that we have a flash deal. All right, uh, for the vehicle on Toyota Noah as well as for Honda Freed. Okay, for Honda Freed, uh, we are currently going at seventy nine k only. Right, seventy nine k only for petrol. Right, for Freed hybrid. 
Okay, for those who are looking for, I mean, uh, looking for a hybrid model and you are interested in purchasing uh, the Honda Freed hybrid variant, it will be at 93k only. Okay, and for to today's star, it will be Toyota Noah because I'm the one, uh, I mean, on Toyota Noah, right? <laughs> Toyota Noah is actually going at 105,000, right? Do drop us a PM if you're interested to actually reserve this promotional price, okay? So these are promotional price that we have. If you guys are actually looking for other vehicles or other MPV, which I can see, uh, you know, we do have the Honda Stepwagon uh, or Spada, which some of you are interested to know about or even do a comparison about. Uh, the reason why we are not comparing to these other vehicles is because of the price point, right? Which we will be talking about the price point uh, on the uh, third segment or the fourth segment, right? So, uh, hi, we have, let me just browse through the uh, messages, okay? Uh, I thought Honda Fit Face Leaf 20. Hi, uh, for, for, hi Mr. Tan, uh, for Honda Freed Facelift 2020 hybrid model, yes, it comes with the auto door, right? But for the petrol model, uh, it is the uh, manual uh, sliding door, right? Which has a suction uh, feature to it, right? Right, hi Ryan, great to see you today. Right, how's the sound while driving on the road? Is the road noise very bad? Uh, which vehicle are you actu actually uh, referring to, Ryan? So for... Okay, regarding the road noise, okay. Uh, I personally feel that the Toyota Noa has a better uh, sound insulation as compared to the Honda Free. Okay, so the doors of the Toyota Noa is actually much heavier uh, as compared to the Honda Free. So in terms of the sound, hey Tao, you are back. <laughs> hey, oh you heard what I say? So you... <laughs> yeah, was it because you are nervous that's why you left the Facebook live session now? <laughs> all right, so we have a question right now, all right, uh, from Mr. Ryan, all right, who is keen on the Toyota Noah, all right, he's actually asking if the sound while driving on the road, is the road noise very, very, very noisy. So uh, for Toyota Noah, I feel that the sound insulation for this vehicle is actually very, very good as compared to the Honda Free. Okay, uh, but it will actually be better if you increase the volume of your radio. <laughs> yeah, so uh, for sound insulation, I believe that is uh, is is good enough for me. All right, so if you wish to have a feel of the sound insulation, all right, uh, of the Toyota Noah, feel free to come down, swing by our showroom to have a first-hand experience. Alright, so what about the sound insulation for Honda Freed? How? Are you still here? Yeah bro, I'm here, I'm here bro. <laughs> I thought you were trying to run away again. No bro, no bro. Just slight technical issues. Uh, regarding the uh, sound insulation, I think so far the Freed, we have no complaints from our customers. Lah. And okay. Honda Engineering, definitely trustworthy. So I think the insulation wise definitely uh, not very loud lah, or barely any road noises. Especially when you are travelling along the speed limit of Singapore road, definitely won't be an issue. <laughs> Alright, so uh, so far no complaints on your side for uh, customers who purchase the Honda Freed, is it? Uh, yep, so far okay, no complaints. Because for, for my side, the customers who purchase the Toyota Nova, uh, not only they don't have complaints but they do have compliments of how well insulated the Toyota Noah is, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, I mean, no complaint is something, uh, I mean, good to hear, but for Toyota Noah, it's uh, what I feel is almost incredible. <laughs> so for those who actually are, are more into uh, the sound insulation of the vehicle, uh, re I reassure you that the sound insulation for the Toyota Noah is uh, good enough. So for Ryan, uh, if you do, uh, are keen on the Toyota Noah, do drop us a PM, alright, uh, do lock in, uh, this is your only chance to lock in at such a low pricing uh, for our today's uh, flash deal, alright, at 105. Just for your information, alright, 
uh, I think about three to four years ago, the Toyota Nova is actually selling about 140,000. Okay, so today the price is only at 105, and for those who are interested in purchasing such a fierce, sporty looking MPV at such a low price, I think it's one of the best time to grab it. Alright, so please feel free to PM us, alright? And if anybody is looking to get a very young looking, is unique look, uh, unique looking MPV that's equally as practical as well, definitely consider the Honda Fit. And the petrol model for the 2020 uh, model is actually only 79,000. So I think this is a very good timing for you all to launch. Okay. It's it's sure of DC prices. Uh, looking to drop even more. So definitely take this opportunity to take advantage of our flash deal and also the low COE at the same time. Alright, so uh, I mean in terms of pricing, uh, definitely the, we will touch on the pricing later on. Uh, we'll do a more in-depth pricing on uh, during the last segment. Uh, the next segment that we will be touching on, okay, uh, for those who have just joined us, will be on the performance of the vehicle. Alright, so let me start. For those who don't know, alright, the Toyota Nova is a one point eight. Uh, uh, has a 1.8 cc engine capacity all right the horsepower okay the combined horsepower okay is actually very close to 180 horsepower okay this is a combined horsepower for the engine as well as for the hybrid uh, uh, motor all right so uh, bro for MPV why you need so much horsepower you also not racing uh, I mean, it's, I mean, when I when I drive the vehicle, a powerful car makes makes me feel more powerful. All right. What about the horsepower for free? For free, not too shabby. At the top of Cat A, actually has hundred and twenty nine horsepower and one hundred fifty five newton meters of torque. So even when it's full, even when it's uh, when when there are six uh, five six passengers, definitely the car uh, still feels powerful enough even when going up slow. So I think okay. for Singapore roads, 129 horse, 105 newton meters of top, definitely at a good and you won't feel like you have troubles overtaking the car in front of you. Uh, I mean, if you do a drag race, I mean, Toyota Nova will definitely be in front of the Honda Fit, right? <laughs> yeah, so uh, for Fit, I think it's only having about 140 plus uh, top, but for the Toyota Nova, it boasts at about 200 top. Alright, so for those who wish to feel powerful, to drive a powerful car, a powerful MPV, Toyota Noah wouldn't disappoint you. Alright? <laughs> right, Tao? Hmm, you can say so, lah, but honestly, the horsepower difference, I think. <laughs> Uh, no, okay. Not very even fight, uh. you know, petrol fight. What, 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 about, what about the fuel efficiency? Right? My, my fuel efficiency for the Toyota Nova is at about 22.8 km. So not only you have power, not only you have pickup, you will also enjoy the fuel efficiency of the vehicle. Okay, bro. Honda Fit petrol is about 19 km per liter. So that's actually not too far off from your. Uh, Noah Hybrid's engine. Okay. So if you think the petrol savings could actually be just a few hundred dollars, maybe two, three hundred per year. Alright, it's still money during this tough time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget you're paying extra for the car as well, bro. Hey, okay, let's, <laughs> let's not talk about the price yet, alright? Price is actually our last, uh, what do you call that, segment of today, alright? Let's focus on the power and the fuel efficiency. So, uh, I think right now, uh, I mean, for, for those who have just joined us, alright, we are talking about the performance and Toyota Nova performance is, uh, I feel, stronger, more powerful and more fuel efficient, alright? As that uh, the viewers out there will feel the exact sentiments as what I feel. Alright, so Toyota Nova 1.8 definitely has a better fuel efficiency and also a better uh, horsepower, better torque. Alright, for those who don't know, a bit more technical, uh, as you can see on the slides above previously, uh, this is using uh, the Toyota Nova is using the latest uh, Toyota Dynamic Engine. Uh, reliable 1.8 engine currently uh, for the Toyota range, right? So for let it very very thank you. So for those, uh, so this uh, we will talk about the engine. Uh, I think we do have. Uh, let me see. 
All right, so the thing uh, for the next segment that we are talking about will be the price. All right, so for for Toyota Nova, okay, uh, the price right now used to be at 108, 107, 108, but right now it's actually going at 105 for today's flash deal. All right, so for those who are interested to know about the price of Toyota Nova and the OMV, all right, the estimated OMV for the vehicle is uh, quite high, I feel, it's at 31,000, okay. Uh, depreciation of the vehicle is about 9.4k per year, right? 9.4k per year for an uh, MPV of this size, this look, this power, and this fuel efficiency. So I feel it's a steal, right? So take a look at the table that we have uh, on the screen, uh, which breaks down into the path uh, that you'll be getting at the end of the 10 years. Uh, the road tax is about 974 per year, all right? So uh, this is what I feel is very reasonable uh, for the uh, 1.8 Toyota Noah. What about the Fleet? Okay, so currently for the Fleet petrol, right? The flash deal is only going at about 79,000. Original price about 81,000. So the difference between the Noah and the Fleet petrol is actually around $26,000. Whereas actually if you compare their, OM, if you compare their OMV, our mine is around 23. And my power value is around 7k. So even though the power value is lesser, that we are the you are actually also paying much lesser for the Honda Freed. Lah. So in the long terms, this is definitely better for your wallet, especially in this economy where you're looking for a good, practical and reliable MPV for your family. And even for the hybrid model itself, it's only at ninety-five thousand dollars. So today flash deal, it's actually at uh, ninety-three and the power value is actually 11,000 so just slightly lesser than the NOAA it comes with pretty much the same fuel is, uh, efficiency and also performance lah. Yeah. even though it's a uh, one so you guys actually actually heard that it's only slightly slightly cheaper than the NOAA alright so although the NOAA is slightly it's not slightly cheaper than NOAA it's just slightly less power value than the NOAA it's oh. actually 11 it's actually 12,000 lesser than the NOAA which is a lot of money but though. in terms of the depreciation <laughs> it's only about 1,000 difference per year right right so I feel that 1,000 uh, per year you divide it into 12 months it's only a few a couple of hundreds right but these a uh, couple of hundreds actually allows you to enjoy uh, previously what we mentioned the spacious interior all right the power and the fuel efficiency of the vehicle for me i feel that it's very very worth it right <laughs> although mm -hmm. the price is more expensive but there's also a lot of costs that you have to take into factor for example the road tax and the servicing and maintenance of a hybrid car as compared to a petrol car. So a lot of factors that actually are unseen costs lah, because you never know when you actually need it until something happens to the car or when you actually do the servicing. And for the hybrid car, usually you need a pretty high usage uh, annually to actually see a very big difference on the petrol saving. So generally, I actually recommend people who are looking for a practical car to go for the petrol model. Look for uh, Noah. So free, free. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so these are the if you guys want to do a comparison for those who are more on to the numbers of the vehicle. All right. Uh, just take a look at the comparison table that we have shown and break down for you. Okay. Uh, it's a clear, clear. Uh, I mean, uh, it's very clear that the free is actually much economical. Uh, this I have to give to you, Tao. All right. So free is actually definitely. <laughs> Uh, but this is de definitely cheaper uh, in terms of cost uh, uh, for the Honda Fit for Toyota Noah is slightly, only slightly more expensive alright so uh, for those who uh, uh, feel that the Toyota Noah is better uh, worth it I mean for your family members I mean please please select the Toyota Noah alright vote for Honda Fit vote Practical, for Toyota Noah economical and reliable Definitely a good choice for young families who are looking for a young and unique ride. Right. Uh, all right. Seems like uh, seems like the cost is a uh, segment of the vehicle for it's Honda. It's a big feet. win. Uh. This is a big win for the feet. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have to admit, I mean, facts are facts, figures are figures. Okay, so for those who are interested to know on our flash deal pricing that we have currently for these three variants models that we have is the. Uh, 105 only for the Toyota Noah Hybrid, 
all right and for the Fleet, it will be 79k for the petrol variant and 93k only for the hybrid Fleet variant all right so do PSM to PMM all right do PMS. <laughs> Bro, you mean do PMS? <laughs> all right do PMS. Uh, if you are interested to find out more about this interesting ridiculously low uh, flash deal that we have all right our sales consultants will we will get back to you uh, and assist you on how you are able to purchase uh, a vehicle at this point of time all right and for those who don't know uh, we have an online contactless sale that has been uh, going uh, for the past few weeks and months all right you are still able to purchase a vehicle uh, of your choice of your dreams all right at this point of time all right lock on to our website uh, www.cow.sg okay uh, it's a very simple step build your dream vehicle build your dream car with uh, selecting your own accessories the body kits your rims and even the warranty package all right send the pdf file to our sales consultants our sales consultants will uh, assist you in the reservation of the vehicle it's simple as abc all right so now we even will if, hmm, sorry Tao. even if you are even if the customizations that you're looking at are not on our website hmm. uh, do feel free to just pm our sales consultant and definitely they will help they will assist you on their matters because uh, sometimes there are some uh, customizations that are not so common but definitely we will try to help you uh, customize it on your car if you are really uh, interested in it. Yeah, we are here to build your dream ride. Okay, so uh, we will have a poll for those who are still with us. All right, do let us know if uh, after a one sided fight that we have for the Toyota Noah and the Honda Freed, let us know. Let us know if you feel that uh, the Toyota Noah is actually better. Alright, as compared, what you feel as compared to the Honda Freed. Let us know. And if you do have uh, any comments, that any things that we have mentioned earlier before that you wish to add on, do let us know. Let the audience know. And just do drop us a comment at the bottom right hand corner. Alright? So, uh, Jutat, I have a, uh, we saw a question from you. Alright? Uh, what is the accessory spec? Like? Okay, uh, Mr. Jutat. Oh, Mr. Tatju, sorry if I uh, uh, pronounce your name wrongly. Okay, do lock on to our website. Uh, uh, lock on and press on the Design Studio at the right hand corner. Okay, uh, we have a range of accessories available for you to choose from. Right, all the way from exterior, rims, body kit, interior, you can choose your leather seats. Alright, uh, different colors. Choose your heat unit, choose the type of solar films, and even the warranty package. Okay, uh, if you are unsure uh, or confused on, on what I'm actually uh, talking about, okay, do drop us a PM. Our sales consultants will definitely try our best to guide you along the way. Alright, so uh, for Mr. Ju Tat, uh, do drop us a PM. Eh? Okay, uh, for more information, uh, the price given on uh, Noah and Freed is not it's not including accessories and warranty, right? Uh, so currently for the price, the flash deal will only be the car and the COE itself. Uh, regarding accessories and warranty, we actually allow our customers to uh, customize it themselves uh, on the website because many customers, they actually have a uh, different uh, preference for their accessories. So this way we are giving the customers the uh, choice to actually customize their dream ride, uh, especially when it comes to interior and exterior looks, when it comes to the accessories, solar films, so on and so forth, they get to choose it for themselves. Yeah, I hope that answered your your, your question, Mr. Juta. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, Mr. Ju, just a question. I'm uh, very curious. Uh, would you would you actually choose the uh, Honda Freed or actually the uh, Toyota Noah? Maybe just let us uh, uh, let us know which one will uh, you be pref uh, more preferred for for your choice, right? Okay. So for for those who are still with us or do help to like and share this uh, Facebook live session. All right. Uh, I hope you guys had a valuable uh, lesson hearing from uh, the difference of debate between me and Tao on the Honda Freed and Toyota Noah. Uh, so I personally feel that uh, although uh, I feel that Toyota Noah is better than Freed, different 
vehicle has its uh, good points. Uh, some of it actually uh, has its points on, on the look, some actually has its points on its space. And for Honda Freed, I think uh, its advantage and its pros is actually on the price itself, right Tao? <laughs> Definitely, I think the price and also the look itself is pretty unique. Uh, it's not really like any other MTV out there. Uh, and for Noah, I think definitely the strong point will be its uh, space and comfort lah. Although mm. the price is a bit more steep, but definitely if you are looking for a more corporate style, more limousine like MPV, I think Noah is the choice lah, for sure. Yeah man, so uh, Noah is somewhere, I mean for sure. <laughs> yeah, so both cars are very similar in terms of uh, uh, the space. Uh, of course, Over one... in the comments, I think Mr. Kelvin Ong asked, Mm. How is the maintenance of a hybrid vehicle? Can it outlast the 10 years COE? Okay, so actually talking about the Toyota Noah Hybrid, actually Toyota Hybrid system has been around for quite a long time and they have proven themselves pretty reliable as you can see from the number of uh, Toyota Priuses on the road, like taxis, private hires, even for people who are just looking for point to point B, right? You do realize that there's actually a lot of uh, hybrid cars on the road, especially for Toyota one. So, so far I've seen quite a bit and I do think that uh, definitely for the hybrid vehicles, uh, definitely can last 10 years or even more based on, I've seen 20 year old Priuses on the road lah, or 10 years plus one. So definitely it can last 10 years uh, with proper maintenance lah. Yeah, I mean Toyota no, uh, hybrid system is one of the, the leading or one of the pioneer uh, hybrid system uh, in comparison with other uh, hybrid systems such as the uh, Honda hybrid system, Kia, uh, Mazda, right? So for Toyota hybrid system, uh, I wouldn't give my my word that it can last 10 years, uh, but it definitely able to last, uh, uh, I mean, uh, a very, very uh, long period of time if you do uh, the required maintenance that the car requires. Yeah, so... This is, uh, we also have some questions on the wheel size for both vehicle uh, from Mr. Vincent, right? Uh, uh, Mr. Vincent, for, for both the Toyota Nova and the Honda Freed, uh, it's a 15, uh, 15 inch rim size, right? For Freed, it's 15 inch, right, Tao? Correct, correct. For the Freed, it's uh, 15 inch uh, steel wheels with caps. La. Yeah, but uh, for, for it will be the original uh, 15 inch uh, right, right. Original size. for yeah. both fit petrol and hybrid is 15 inch rims. Correct. So, right. but for for those who are actually interested in changing or replacing the rims or for different design or different uh, different size, right? Uh, over here, over at Cow, we are we allow our customers to actually select your rim design, your rim size, and uh, uh, whatever uh, design that you actually are looking at. Yeah, we have a wall full of rims at our showroom lah, at the design studio so one wall full of rims. So definitely a lot of choices for our customers to choose from. Yeah, do lock on, for those who have just joined us, do lock on to our website. You realize there are actually a, a wide variety of rims available for selection. But that is not all, that is just a few uh, 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 rims available. Uh, if you do have a, a specific size uh, our rims design that you actually look at do let us know we are we'll try our best to find uh to select for you to find for you thanks kelvin thank you thank you for joining us today all right so uh which variant of noah is available for 105 okay the uh toyota noah 1.8 x variant this is a toyota 1.8 x variant uh this is the hybrid variant all right so uh i hope this answer your question uh H C Tan. Right. Right. Thank you, everybody. All right. Uh, so, uh, in conclusion, all right. In conclusion for uh, uh, today's uh, competition or debate between uh, the Honda Freed and Toyota Nova. All right. Uh, in terms of the looks, okay. In terms of the looks, uh, uh, we have mixed feelings. For for I mean mixed comments on the uh, the the Toyota Nova as well as the Honda Freed. Okay, so for looks itself, I think it's actually very, very, uh, very, very balanced. It's a fair, it's a neutral, it's a draw. Okay, uh, uh, what we actually find out is that for those who are looking at a very sporty vehicle, uh, definitely uh, MPV will be for the Noah. And if you are looking for a cute vehicle like Tau, all right, 
you I would say it's unique and younger looking lah. Maybe cause maybe cause you are a bit more old as well, you prefer a bit more uncle looking one. Eh, but actually the no. free the free I'd say not cute lah, I would say it's more unique and it's much younger looking with their new design language for Honda with the blue being the same colour as the car. Alright, so for, for, for the looks, I think it is a draw, okay, so I wouldn't okay, say that's that. that's good, that's right? good. So in terms of the second segment, which, which, uh, which is the what is the features and practicality and the space, uh, I feel that uh, Noah will be the winner, alright? Is that... Mm, I don't really want to give it to you, but because of this, It's indeed edge, more spacious than... Uh, uh, it's slightly more, slightly more spacious, la. really very slightly more spacious. Yeah, slightly, a win is a, <laughs> a, win, is a win. So I, don't I, I, judge I, a car by the exterior, because the interior of the fit is actually can compare with Noah one. Uh, no, 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 I still think that uh, Noah actually is the winner of the segment for, for the... Okay, okay. And okay, it has more features, you. right? So this one, I think that Noah uh, is actually uh, has an upper hand, right? In terms of performance, same thing. I will definitely feel that the uh, the performance of the car, Noah, is more powerful. So using numbers, I think you won't have any things to talk about. Lah. <laughs> okay, all right. Moving on to performance. Performance, of course, of course, Noah will be the winner, lah. Okay, lah. But if you think about it, you're paying a lot more for the performance, also. Uh, yeah. So performance-wise, of course, I think uh, uh, Noah will be the winner. Okay. So for 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 the looks-wise, I think it's a draw. Okay, which we mm. we actually actually uh, decided on. Alright. So for features and practicality and performance, of course, Noah is the winner. But for cost. Okay, I have to give it to you that uh, Honda Fit is actually uh, the <laughs> winner of this segment. Definitely, I think for the cost, okay. it's a hands down win for the Fit. Uh. There's no comparing. Alright, so uh, <laughs> let me conclude today's Facebook live session. Alright, uh, the winner of today. Uh, although we have a 50% uh, uh, voting <laughs> for both the Toyota Noah and Honda Fit. Okay, but... Uh, it's a tough choice to actually decide today's winner, but uh, I think we agree that uh, Toyota Nova is actually a winner in terms of the performance and features. So it's a 2v1, okay? Uh, Fred only winning on a segment on the uh, course, okay? So for today's uh, winner for the second episode, I conclude that Toyota Nova is the preferred vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> You're not like that bro, you must see how much the cost, the difference of the cost eh. Okay, that is only one point, right? But okay. for features and performance, you actually just a little bit only. So maybe you combine the two wins together, it's actually just one win. Ah. Hey. <laughs> Uh, a win is a win, uh, right? So, okay. So, for 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 those who are interested in actually securing today's flash deal for Honda Freed and also for Toyota Noah, do drop us a PM, okay? We will be uh, having another session of live Facebook uh, uh, session next week, okay? Same time, same day on Saturday, okay? So, uh, thank you for staying tuned to the, for tonight's episode of Car Wars, okay? I hope everybody has a better understanding of uh, two vehicles in comparison, okay? Uh, so if uh, stay tuned next Saturday, okay? Uh, so for the for the viewers, uh, please leave your comment on what they want to see on our next few episodes. Uh, we do have a few uh, comments, so just let us know what exactly do you want us to compare, all right? In our next few uh, uh, episode of the car car wars, okay? And definitely take advantage of the flash you they are currently having now mm. because it's only until the end of this session. So do drop us a PM if you are really looking to get either the Toyota Noah or the Honda Freed. Drop us a PM and our sales consultant will get back to you immediately. So let us know and uh, take this opportunity to secure the flash deal and also the uh, COE. Yeah, okay, so stay tuned next Saturday at 8 p.m. All right, I uh, hope to see you next week. All right, cheers, guys. Bye-bye, see you next week.